Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, today we have some interesting news that you guys will definitely, definitely find informative. And today's news is coming from Turbo Squid. So, Turbo Squid has created uh, an online service that is called Stem Cell. So, the idea behind Stem Cell is once you create a model, just like you can create in any other 3D app, if you upload it over to the Stem Cell or if you upload it over to, you know, Turbo Squid, automatically you can convert that into different file formats so the error of you creating a file in like say 3d studio max or maya and trying to get it in you know unity unreal all right so the error of trying to create this different file format is definitely something they want to cut out but from turbo squid the idea here is you would be able to actually get your model from a different app upload it over to turbo squid and get the model in different you know file formats although we did talk about a tool known as od copy and paste link to that is going to be in the description so that you can check it out the tool actually gives you the ability to just simply copy a 3d model from one 3d app and paste it in a different 3d app if that actually works out for you without going over to the cloud then i think maybe that might be a different approach to this and one of the cool things with the stem cell is if you already have your models uploaded to the turbo squid cloud what will happen is you can get both the materials and at the same time you can get the textures alongside with the model for any of the file formats that you're trying to download this for now there are certain things that needs to be set before you can actually get this thing working clean and nice for now this is only supported for only 3d studio max and maya they have plans for cinema 40 and blender nobody's talking about modo i don't know why but over time i think other 3d apps will be supported right now if you check out on the website if you go over to turbo squid you would also notice that they have a brand new support for both arnold and usdz usdz is apple and pixels exchange file format that they have created for apple that you can use for creating things like augmented reality content so if you want to get your models directly from here into any file format you need to make sure that first things first that you have a very clean model so one of the things that was specified is you definitely need to have a very clean model and then of course you need to select a certain set of materials that your object needs to work with now in terms of materials you need to be able to either have a material that deals with a pbr workflow or a specular and gloss workflow now the specular and gloss which is the standard specular and gloss definitely has to do with both diffuse normal map specular and gloss map while you know the metallic pbr workflow has to do with albedo normal roughness and also metallic map so if you want to check out this you can definitely come over to the link which is going to be in the description so you can check this thing out and you can also get your uv or your unwrapped meshes directly here without actually thinking about how you can you know save the whole thing and take it over to me i kind of think that maybe the idea behind this thing actually works a little bit like this maybe there is just this thing that converts it over to fbx and then reconverts it down to the file format that you want i don't know how this thing works right now this is just an assumption but i kind of think that this is definitely one of the leading ways that this would work so if you come over to turbo squid and you want to download a model you can literally see that happening here that from here you can see the 3d model specification just in case and also if you just look about this part you also see the exchange file format that is available for you so you can see that you have like the fbx and as well you can also see the conversion format that is also available so from unity to um 3d studio max to maya and also unreal these things are available so you can you know uh, make use of them i see this as a win-win especially for 3d artists that wants to reach out to so many people and of course once you upload your model over here you know licenses and things like that is already guaranteed knowing fully well that uh you can get your model to different audience without the hassle of thinking like okay maybe i need to create for maya maybe i need to create for 3d studio max maybe i need to create for unreal so this is something i think would make a lot of sense and of course if you want to be part or if you want to get access to this you need to be a member of turbo squid and turbo squid which we already know is a 3d uh, modeling repository or sales website right now the support that is available for upload is 3d studio max and maya with rendering support for both v-ray and menta ray also once you upload this over to the cloud and you have done the whole texturing all the stuff that you want to do you'll be able to preview this directly here so there is a brand new real-time stem uh, cell preview 
uh, window that exists here so you can use this to preview and also if you want to check out how you can work with Marmoset and also get your model looking like this in case you want to get your model looking like this and you want to put it on Earth Station. We did cover that sometime in the channel so I'm going to put a link to that so in case you want to check this one out you will be able to find out how you can actually do this so anyone that wants to take a look at your model can actually see all of the maps that you spent some very you know uh, interesting time creating and yeah that is basically about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and as well if you want to also check out some models that are available on turbo squid of course you can come through check these things out release notes and every other thing related to this i'm going to put all of those links in the description at the same time if you want to check out the od copy and paste where you can copy things from any 3d app over to another 3d app i'm also going to put the video link in the description and tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section and of course if you like this video you learned something from it you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace